Welcome back to another video in our Windows Tips and Tricks series. Windows includes many useful features that are hidden or disabled by default that we think should be enabled when you first launch Windows. I'll be showing you the features that can be turned on for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Coming up next on Brett in Tech. I'll be demonstrating how to enable these using Windows 11. The steps are very similar if you're on Windows 10. By default, Windows hides file extensions, which can make it difficult to determine what the file type is. For example, when differentiating between a PNG, JPEG, or SVG for images, or M4A, a WAV file, or MP3 for audio. It's important to have the file extension showing to not accidentally open a suspicious file that looks like a JPEG that actually is an executable that could give you malware. To show the file extensions after the file names in File Explorer, go to the View tab, Hover your cursor over Show and click File Name Extensions. And as you'll see, the file extensions are now visible after the name of the file. When setting up a new computer, this is one of the first things I do before downloading software and other stuff. On Windows 10, if I recall correctly, you would do this by going to View, look for options in the list, select it, and you would uncheck Hide Extensions. Similar to file extensions, there are some folders and files that are hidden by default. Microsoft does this to prevent people from making accidental changes. But if you ever need to troubleshoot problems on your computer, not having them visible could make things more difficult, especially for non-power users. To make those files and folders visible in File Explorer, once again, click on View, go down to Show, and select Hidden Items. Now you can see all the files and folders that were previously hidden. The Storage Sense feature is one of those handy features that works in the background to automatically delete temporary files, empty the recycle bin, free up space, and manage OneDrive storage without you having to do anything. To turn on Storage Sense, open the Settings app. For new users, use the keyboard shortcut, pressing the Windows key plus I key. Once opened, in the left pane, click on System. Then here on the right, select Storage. In Storage Management, click the toggle for Storage Sense to turn it on. Now click into Storage Sense. There's settings here you can change. I'll show you what my settings are. I keep the box checked next to Keep Windows Running Smoothly by Automatically Cleaning Up Temporary System and App Files. In Configure Cleanup Schedules, I run Storage Sense every week. Here the choices are every day, every month, or during low free disk space, which is the default. I have it delete files in the recycle bin every 14 days. Here the choices here are never, one day, 30 days, and 60 days. I never have it delete files in the downloads folder, but you could choose anywhere from one day to 60 days. Scroll down here. In locally available cloud content, which refers to OneDrive, it says here content will become online only if not open for more than, I keep it on never, but your other choices are one day up to 60 days. Clipboard history is one of those useful features where you can get access to items you've copied recently. This includes screenshots and text. To open it, use the keyboard shortcut by pressing the Windows key and V key. Any here that you click can be pasted wherever you need it. You can also pin your favorites so they don't go away. Or you could clear the entire history by clicking Clear All. To enable this in the Settings app, go to System. Scroll down here on the right and select Clipboard. Click the toggle for Clipboard History to turn it on. For productivity, having it enabled is convenient and can help to save a lot of time. Speaking of productivity, turning on Do Not Disturb automatically helps to keep your concentration by blocking notifications while you're working, playing a game, and duplicating your screen, for example when doing a presentation. To turn it on in Settings, select system here on the left. Then on the right, select notifications. Click on turn on do not disturb automatically. Here's your choices. Clicking on the box for any of these, you can have do not disturb turn on automatically for during these times. For example, you could have it turn on and off during work hours. Your other choices here are when duplicating your display, when playing a game, when using an app in full screen mode, 
and for the first hour after a Windows feature update. You can select as many of these as you want. Built into Windows is a nightlight feature that reduces blue light emitted from your monitor to display warmer tones. This is useful especially in the evenings to reduce eye strain, and studies suggest reducing the blue light from your screen can help you to sleep. To enable it in Settings, go to System, and select Display. In Brightness and Color, you can turn on Nightlight immediately to have it activated. I prefer to have it on a schedule to have it turn on automatically in the evenings, so click into Nightlight. Click on the toggle to schedule Nightlight. The schedule I keep is from sunset to sunrise. If you prefer, you can set your own hours to have it activated. There's also a slider for you to adjust the strength of the nightlight. Screen recording software does not capture this, so you'll have to try this out on your own to see what works best for you. Enabling Find My Device is especially important if you use a laptop outside of your home, for example, for remote work, school, or on vacation. This can help you to track your laptop if you lose it or it's stolen. To turn on Find My Device, in Settings, go to Privacy and Security. On the right near the top, in Security, click Find My Device. Click the toggle for it to enable it. If your device ever gets lost or stolen, to locate it, you'll need to go to the Microsoft site, which is account.microsoft.com. For this to work, you'll also need to have Location Services turned on. So let's go back to Privacy and Security. Scroll down and in App Permissions, select Location. Location Services should be turned on by default. If not, click the toggle to turn it on. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What features do you enable when you first launch Windows? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel and haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell to not miss out on our latest videos for Windows and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.